So after Ilya Taporia defeated Max Holloway at UFC 308, I think that that performance has fully confirmed that Ilya Taporia is the best striker in MMA right now and possibly also in MMA history. Ilya Taporia's striking is that good. In the cage, he actually throws punches, punches like how a boxer would if they were fighting in the cage. That is the reality. Um... Inny is that good. He is that good, in my opinion. The way he throws his shots and lets his hands go, he manages his distance very nicely. He fights in an actual good boxing stance as well. He's got that good defense. Um, and, he, you know, he's got good counters. He doesn't stand upright like you see Max Holloway do, like you see Conor McGregor do, like you see Poirier do, like you see Whitaker do and, and everyone else. He doesn't stand up straight like all of them. What, they're strikers. Ilya Saporia is a pure good boxer in MMA. And, you know, that's not even Ilya's just skill set either. Ilya is a good all-round fighter. That is the thing. But his boxing is the best in MMA. I, I, I should change this to Saporia is the best boxer in MMA. Because, let's be real, the rest of these guys are strikers. Ilya looks like an actual boxer when he's in there. It's... And it's clear to see as well. Fighting an actual boxing stance, good with he got a very good, nice straight jab. He's not stiff at all as well. The way he lets his shots fly is like how a boxer does. His hooks are very precise, very accurate, very good. He's not a wild striker. He's he's a, he's a very good overall boxer. I feel like if Ilya Saporia, you know, wasn't in it wasn't in the UFC. And he started in boxing from, you know, the very bottom and built his way up. He could be a very good overall boxer. Ilya Saporia, if he started from the bottom of boxing and worked his way up, he could be a top boxer. That is that is what I do think. I think Ilya is very good with the work he does. And Max Holloway's boxing, people saying that Max Holloway is the best boxer in the UFC. His boxing, and it was clear to see as well when he fought Ilya, it's nothing compared to what Ilya's boxing is. Max Holloway stands up straight. Yes, he's got some decent reflexes. He does let his shots fly well. He's got a good jab. But the reality is, Ilya throws over like a boxer. He, it, It's simple to see. He throws his hooks like a boxer. He throws his straights like how a boxer would. He's got a style like a boxer. He, look, he looks like a boxer in, um, when he's fighting. Max Holloway doesn't really, if we're being real. You know, Max Holloway's striking is very solid, but it's striking. It's not boxing. Conor McGregor's striking is very good. It's striking. It's not boxing. Ilya is different compared to all of these guys. Ilya Saporia is different compared to absolutely everyone. Uh, and that's the reality. We saw it w when he fought Josh Emmett. We saw it when he fought Jai Herbert. We saw it when he fought Volt. And we saw it when he fought Max Holloway. He is the best boxer in the UFC right now without a shadow of a doubt. He lays you out with, with good setup, well-timed shots, like how a boxer throws shots. That is... That is how good Ilya is, in my opinion. That is how good he is. You don't see people like Jorge Masvidal landing shots like how Ilya Saporia does. You don't see Jorge Masvidal, Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje, Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier fighting the style like how Ilya Saporia does. That's... That is why Ilya is good. He's skilled. He's got the feints in there, dips his head well. He's he's very clever with his work and manages his distance well. These strikers don't exactly have the best distance management. Ilya Taporia has that. He's got all the great boxing fundamentals, and if he and you know if he he's and he's only going to get better and better and better. He's got that good natural boxing ability in him as well. One hundred percent, he does. Just the he he. The way he sets up his shots against Max um, against Max Holloway was just different compared to what these others do. Volkanovski's got some good boxing uh, and is good on the feet. 
But when we saw him against Holloway, he doesn't put his shots together like what Ilya does. That is what, and you know, Ilya produces big power for a reason. And it's because of how accurate he is with his shots. He knows how to fully, he, he, he knows how to fully, you know, have that technique of a boxer, knows how to fully punch like how a boxer does. That is why Ilya Taporia is so ridiculously good. He's unpredictable and, you know, or his great striking makes him unpredictable as well for when he's going in shooting takedowns. He's very good on the ground as well, Ilya is. He's going to be very difficult to beat. I don't think anyone beats Ilya Taporia um, if you're trying to strike with him on the feet. No, no one's going to beat him in that case. If Max can't, then, you know, you, you're not going to be able to. That's... That, that is how it is. That is how it is. Ilya Taporia is that, you know, superior to everyone else on the feet. He really is. I mean, you look at, you know, some like Lerone Murphy, for example, in the division. You know, he's got some good hands. But you look at his style and compare it to Ilya's. Who looks more like a boxer? Ilya. You look at Max and Taporia and you stick them in a boxing ring. Ilya Taporia is winning that 10 times out of 10. You stick Ilya Taporia and Conor McGregor in a boxing ring in the same, uh, the, them is the same way, you know, both featherweight versions of them. Ilya Taporia wins that fight with ease as well, if we're being completely honest. He, he does. So it's, it's not going to be difficult at all. He, you know, he, He's, he's got the technique of a boxer, throws shots like a boxer. He's unpredictable with his explosive moments, like what loads of good boxers can, like lots of great boxers are. That he's he's so his his boxing is different to everyone else's in MMA, without a shadow of a doubt. It is. You know, it's better than his Romada Sanya's boxing. I mean, to be fair, he's mostly a kickboxer, though. But he throws shots better than all of these guys. His footwork's better than all of them. He knows his way around the octagon very, very well. His fight IQ is very high, especially when it comes to striking. It is very, very, very high. Um, his, his defense is very, very, very good as well. He knows when you're coming at him. And that is what that is what a boxer and that is what a boxer can do. Manages the defense well, manages the distance very well. It, it is just different to a lot of these guys, in my opinion. One hundred percent, he is. And I feel like it's difficult to disagree and put forward another argument to who else could be the best boxer or striker in MMA, whatever you want to call it. So it, it's Ilya Saporia. It is Ilya Saporia by a country mile. Simple as that. Anyway, thanks for watching.